uh, at a time when LLMs can generate code, explain problems, identify opportunities, debug our code, to what extent, like, do you think that this is diminishing in any way how important it is for machine learning engineers, data scientists, to be understanding code deeply, or do you think we're heading into a future where, where we can abstract away to natural language code generation? <laughs> yeah, that's a great question. Like, uh, will we still need machine learning people at all, you know, in the future? So I guess it depends how far you look ahead. Uh, if, if, we, if we look ahead when AGI is available, I'm not sure what we'll need anybody to work for. Um, so if we step you know, a little bit closer um, and we just assume they're not ready yet, because I mean, they're not ready yet. Um, just last week, I, I was sort of vibe coding a reinforcement learning uh, algorithm um, and uh, it, it didn't work. So I asked a Claude, I asked Gemini, I asked a ChatGPT. None of them found the answer. Everyone, every single one of them was like, oh, I know what the problem is. That's, it's this thing and so on. And it, it just failed every time. Um, and so I had to actually look at the code uh, and just found one missing line. Actually, I find that's interesting. It's easier for the AI to find one error on a line that exists than to find a missing line. Um, and the line that was missing is like next state equals, um, you know, state equals next state <laughs> in, in the loop. So it was like staying on the same state all the time. And for some reason, all the AIs missed it. And it's not that it's obvious, but you just need to step through and you see it. And stepping through is not something they do very well. Um, so, so yeah, I guess my point is they're not ready. Um, and so until there's AGI, you still need to understand the code at least. But the second thing is, I think in many cases, um, looking at the code actually helps understand the concepts. Um, for example, if you look at um, multi-head attention, uh, the, you can explain it, you can show a nice diagram, but personally, I really, like it clicked when I looked at the code. I'm like, ah, oh, that's what it's doing, you know? Uh, you look at the dimensions of these things, it's, oh, that's, oh, okay. So it's not every time, but pretty often I find that looking at the code just makes it click. In fact, I've noticed a trend um, in machine learning papers where um, more and more, they're actually not showing math anymore, they're showing like pseudocode. Uh, I think code is a great way to explain stuff. So, um, so we'll probably at least need, need code examples in teaching. Um, whether or not people need to code them just to understand how it works, I think it's helpful. Yeah, for us artisan data scientists of the future <laughs> that are coding up algorithms from scratch for pure enjoyment while the machines hum along beside us. <laughs> Um, so uh, you've actually, you've predicted um, that we'll have AGI within about five years or so. Yeah, I've downgraded my, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so um, ChatGPT5 made me, you know, second guess. Um, Ooh, uh, I, I, it feels like we're, we've reached a plateau a bit earlier than I thought, and so it might be a bit longer than five years, maybe five to ten. The, the, um, I, there's something missing, clearly. I mean, when you ch chat with you know, all of these AIs, they have incredibly you know, broad knowledge, and it's not very deep. Um, and there are like, obvious things they miss. They, they, something's, something's fishy. <laughs> and it's not entirely clear what's missing, what's fishy. Um, and so you know, whenever there's some really unknown question, it's, it's, it's unclear how long it'll take to resolve. It might be next year, or it might be 10 years from now. Or you know maybe never. Um, my bet is like it's, you know in the five to ten years I've like sort of pushed it back a bit because um, I didn't expect the LLM plateau to be to be now, but it, it seems that it's been reached. Um, and in my opinion, something's wrong with the way uh, the concepts are represented inside these things. Um, they it's pretty shallow concepts. Um, the, 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 you know, it's like learning by heart a lot of stuff, but not really sort of connecting them into a unified you know, theory or, or a mental model that's really simplified. Um, and since you know, our abstraction capabilities uh, are you know, far better, uh, I think we're, we're doing something with the representation of knowledge that's much better than these LMs. Um, so I guess that's the direction that a lot of researchers are heading towards, like Yann Lequin's, um, you know, JEPA um, models. It's basically world models trying to um, abstract away a lot of these things. Instead of looking at the pixel level, you're sort of looking at a higher level, you know, um, take an image of a cat and, and cut out part of its face or something, and then 
usually you would try to predict what's missing in terms of pixels. Like, what's missing? Oh, uh, there should be a pixel here or there. But instead of doing that with Jeppa, you're sort of predicting at a higher level and saying, I think there should be a head of a cat there, you know? And it's, you don't need to be as precise. It's higher level. And I think if we can push you know, uh, that representation of the world to be higher level and to predict at that level, you reduce the amount of computations tremendously because you're, you're looking at a much smaller space. Um, and so it's be faster, more efficient, and that representation hopefully makes it easier to extrapolate further. Like if you're not extrapolating in pixel space, you're extrapolating in a sort of representation space, and you can see, oh, well, what's similar to a cat's face, maybe, I don't know, fox face, or, but it's not pixels. Um, so I think that's a very promising direction, like to, to go into a better representation. And if we have that, perhaps a lot of things follow from that, like, uh, you know, if you if you can um, better represent things, you can, as I said, like better extrapolate. You can make better predictions. Um, maybe you can have a better continuous learning because the, the data is more condensed, and so you can maybe on the fly sort of integrate your knowledge in there. Maybe a lot of things will follow from that, but it's a you know big maybe. We don't know, and so it might take you know five years or ten years. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm frankly hoping that it'll take longer because I don't think like humanity is ready for AGI quite yet. Um, I, I'd be I'd be happy if it's just gradually improving people's lives and, and giving you know benefits in medicine and whatnot, but not quite yet. A take you know taking over the, too much disruption too quickly.